Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about modding the SA-58, an accurate and hard-hitting rifle that has become a staple in my raids for a few months now. The SA-58, often called the FAL, which I think is technically correct because it's a modernized reproduction, is a simple but surprisingly versatile and extremely reliable rifle once you get used to how it handles. It's not as easy to control as a nicely modded M4 or AK-74, but it makes up for that with a more powerful round that cuts through armor and gets you some really satisfying one-shot kills. Like the M4 and 416, the SA-58 can be set up in a number of configurations. By changing out the barrel, stock, and hand guard, it can go from a full-length battle rifle to a mid-length assault rifle and down to a short-barreled CQB rifle if that's what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to cover the options you have for customizing the SA-58 once you get your hands on it. The rifle itself can be purchased from Peacekeeper Level 3 for about $950, but is also available as a barter trade for two intelligence folders and three hard drives at Peacekeeper Level 2. Mechanic is also going to try to scam you into buying his ridiculously overpriced SA-58s, but just don't do that. You can also spawn as a scav with an SA-58, which is a great way to get a hold of one without paying for it, and it's pretty easy to get one for 50,000 rubles or less on the flea market because people sell off their scav run SA-58s like crazy. Also, I'm not really going to talk about the ammo options available because I've already done a video covering all ammo types in the game, and I'll put a link to that playlist down in the description. With that out of the way, I'm going to get into talking about the attachments you can unlock to customize the SA-58 and improve its performance starting from the back with the rifle stock. You have a number of options for changing out the stock on the SA-58, and while there are two clear winners in terms of stats, most of the options are actually pretty decent choices. First up, the basic polymer stock and folding stock can both come standard on the SA-58, and they both reduce recoil by 37%, but the folding stock has a little bit better ergonomics. If you're looking to make a cheap SA-58 build, these are just fine to leave on. The SA-58 battle rifle stock is currently not sold by any traders, but comes on some unique versions of the SA-58 which can be purchased, and also it can be found in the raid. It gives a 37% recoil reduction and plus 8 to ergonomics. This isn't the best stock available and can be a bit weird to get a hold of, but it does kind of make your SA-58 look like a Scar H, so I like it for that. The Magpul PRS stock for the SA-58 is sold by Peacekeeper Level 3 for about $170, giving you 36% recoil reduction and plus 14 to ergonomics. This is a pretty good option for an ergo-focused sniper build, but the recoil reduction isn't that great. The last two stock attachments are basically the top tier options for the SA-58, and first up is is the DS Arms SPR stock, sold by level 4 mechanic for about 23,000 rubles. This stock gives you a 43% recoil reduction, which is the highest you can get on the SA-58, and plus 6 to ergonomics. The ergonomics on this one aren't too high, but it adds a really cool look to your rifle and has great recoil reduction. Finally, there's the SA-58 buffer tube adapter, sold by Mechanic Level 2 for 2800 rubles. You get access to this fairly early, and it allows you to put buffer tubes and most stocks that require a buffer tube onto the SA-58. With the SI Advanced Buffer Tube and the MOE Carbine stock with the rubber pad, you can get the same stats as the SPR stock, but with less cost and more ergonomics. Next up, I'll go over the pistol grip options, which will be quick and easy because there's only three options and one of them is really the best. First up, the basic SA-58 pistol grip comes standard with the rifle and gives you plus five to ergonomics. It's a mild bonus, but better than nothing. Second is the SA-58 saw style pistol grip, sold by Mechanic Level 2 for about 3,500 rubles and giving you a plus 10 ergonomics boost. This one is also available pretty early and is a good choice considering the price. The final option you have for a pistol grip is the Fab AG FAL pistol grip, sold by Level 4 Mechanic for about 4,500 rubles. This grip gives you plus 13 to ergonomics, making it the best in slot choice and for a pretty low price as well. The next important part you're going to want to change on the SA-58 is the dust cover, and there's only two options, the basic non-rail dust cover and the DS Arms Extreme Duty Rail Dust Cover. The basic dust cover has no mounts, gives plus 2 to ergonomics, and can be purchased from Mechanic Level 1 for 2,700 rubles if you need it. The Extreme Duty Dust Cover has a full top rail to mount any size of scope, gives a plus 4 boost to ergonomics, and is sold by Level 3 Mechanic for about 12,000 rubles. The rail dust cover is currently the only way I know of to get a magnified optic onto an SA-58, so unless you're okay running a red dot up on your handguard, you're going to want to pick up this dust cover. 
Like the M4 and many other Western weapons in Escape from Tarkov, you have a few options to switch out the barrel on your SA-58, and your barrel length affects what handguard you can use, so I figured I would mention the barrels first. Currently, there are three options, the standard 21 inch, a 16 inch barrel, and the shorty 11 inch option. The 21 inch barrel is in my opinion the best choice, as it gives you 12% recoil reduction, plus 7 to accuracy, and no ergonomics penalties. You can buy this one from level 4 mechanic if you need it for 34,000 rubles. The 16 inch barrel is a pretty big step down, with 5% recoil reduction and plus 5 to accuracy. Mechanic level 3 sells this one for 30,000 rubles. Finally, the 11 inch barrel gives you no recoil reduction and plus 2 accuracy. This one actually isn't sold by any traders, and it'll cost you a fortune on the flea market. Because there is no ergonomics penalty for using the longer barrel, and the recoil reduction drops off significantly as you go down in length, I generally stick to the 21 inch unless I'm building a short SA-58 for a factory or labs run. When it comes to the handguards, they are affected by what barrel you use as I mentioned earlier. As a general rule, any barrel shorter than the 21 inch default barrel is limited to a few of the shortened handguards, which is honestly kind of a disadvantage. The basic Austrian style handguard is one of the default options, it has no attachment slots and gives you plus 7 to ergonomics. The Belgian style handguard is essentially the same thing as the Austrian, but with a plus 9 ergonomics boost. The universal key mod handguard is sold by mechanic level 3 for about 5,000 rubles, giving a plus 9 ergonomics boost and tons of spaces for attachments. You will need to buy key mod rails to put attachments on the handguard, but it's pretty versatile for the low price. The universal M-Lock handguard is also sold by Mechanic Level 3 for about 6,000 rubles, gives plus 9 to ergonomics, and also has plenty of space for attachments. The main difference between this and the key mod version is that it requires M-Lock accessory rails, and you can mount a red dot sight directly onto the top of the handguard. The DS Arms Quad Rail Handguard is sold by Level 4 Mechanic for about 10,000 rubles. It gives plus 5 to ergonomics and has 4 rails for attachments. I think it looks cool, but you unlock it really late and the stats are so average that I never really find myself using it. On top of that, the shorter version of this handguard isn't available from traders and it costs a fortune on the flea market. Finally, we come to the current best in slot option for the handguard, the VL Tor CASV Handguards, which come in a short and a full length version. The CASV FAL handguard is the full length option, which can be used with the 21 inch barrel and is sold by level 4 mechanic for about 17,000 rubles. It gives you a 3% recoil reduction and plus 14 to ergonomics. Great stats for a handguard and it mounts attachments using CASV accessory rails. The CASV FAS handguard is sold by level 4 mechanic for about 14,000 rubles. It fits on the 16 and 11 inch barrels and gives you a 2% recoil reduction and plus 10 to ergonomics. Again, pretty good stats for a handguard, but it's outshined by the full length version with the 21 inch barrel. The final core piece of the SA-58 you can swap out is the muzzle device, and there's plenty of decent options in this category. I'll go over the compensators first, and then talk about the suppressors. The basic Austrian muzzle brake is actually quite good, giving you a 9% recoil reduction and plus 4 to accuracy. Honestly, this one is a solid option, and it won't leave you at much of a disadvantage if you just leave it on. The 2A X3 compensator is sold by level 4 mechanic for about 7,000 rubles, and the only real advantage advantage to using it is a boost to muzzle velocity. Aside from that, it gives you a 7% recoil reduction and plus 4 to accuracy. The Odin Works Atlas Muzzle Brake is sold by level 4 mechanic for 11,000 rubles, giving you an 11% recoil reduction, plus 2 accuracy, and a small boost to muzzle velocity. This is one of the top tier muzzle brakes, especially for long range shooting. The Lantac Dragon Muzzle Brake is sold by Level 4 Peacekeeper for about $130, giving you a 12% recoil reduction, minus 1 to ergonomics, and a small boost to muzzle velocity. This muzzle brake has the highest recoil reduction for the SA-58, so it's great for full auto fire and is one of the main ones I use. The SA-58 currently has three options for a suppressor, and they all require an additional mount, so I'll go over them starting with the best option, the SDN-6 suppressor. First, you will need to pick up the Blackout 51T muzzle brake from Level 4 Peacekeeper for $67, and the SDN6 suppressor mounts directly onto that. 
The suppressor itself is also sold by level 4 Peacekeeper for about $700. It costs a lot, but put together, you're getting a 10% recoil reduction, which is the best you can get for a suppressed SA-58. Next is the Gemtech 1 suppressor and the Gemtech 1 mount, both sold by Peacekeeper level 3. $40 for the mount and $500 for the suppressor. This is the cheapest way you can suppress an SA-58 or any other 7.62 by 51 mm weapon, but also only provides you with a 4% recoil reduction. Finally, the DT mount and Hybrid 46 suppressor are sold by Peacekeeper Level 2 for almost $1,000 altogether. Personally, I think that's just a little too much to spend for only 3% recoil reduction, so I stick with other options for a suppressor most of the time. The SA-58 has become one of my favorite weapons in Escape from Tarkov because it hits like a freight train and shoots straight over long distances. So I hope this video helps you put together some nice rifles to raid with. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jdogthewise and it would be great to see some more people drop by the stream so I'll leave a link for that in the description. Thanks for checking out the video. As always, feel free to leave any comments, corrections, or suggestions down below. And until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.